yeah. But the wood chipper's here. That's all that matters. Well, hiding in my welding trailer is the wood chipper. It's finally here. Man, I thought I'd start working on that in February for sure. Oh well, the end of March is close enough, right? I gotta get that thing out of there, but it's hiding behind my desk and my sheet metal trolley thing, cart, and a whole bunch of other crap. So, yeah, it's gonna take me a couple hours to get that thing out of there. I have a dilemma. I cannot get the wood chipper past the sheet metal. Because if you notice, it's got to come out past the torch, which is a tire width away from the wall to get past that. If I do that, I'll put that tire on the other side of the sheet metal. The wood chipper was the first thing I put in my trailer. I'm now thinking the wood chipper should have gone back here and my desk should have gone up there. Because <sighs> I was just planning on leaving the sheet metal stacked up in here for now. Doesn't hurt anything having it leaning against that wall. So, yeah. I don't know what to do. I used the overhead hoist to get the sheet metal in here. I don't know if I can lift this stuff by myself. I think the book says it's 157 pounds per sheet. So, I really can't do much with that by myself. I did get it. Uh, actually went much easier than I thought. I had the sheet metal sitting on this channel iron. Uh, it slid in that really easy and I was just able to just slide it onto the metal rack itself. That actually went really easy. Took me quite a while though. I had to take a few breaks. Sheets are heavy, but it's on there. I just got to figure out what the heck to do with it. Well, that was enough of my morning. Dang, I can't believe it's noon already. I didn't get started till 10 this morning, but... I thought I could do this in two hours. Two hours later and I'm still not done. Anyway, I go find lunch. I'll be back. Well, all I can say is it's here. Oh, man. And my garage is full now. <laughs> Ain't got no spare room at all. Crap. It's looking like I'm going to have to build a hood for this wood chipper, like, right away so I can store this thing outside. I just do not have the room to keep it in here. And this sheet metal, I think... I'm going to clean everything out away from this wall. A lot of this stuff actually will go back in the welding trailer, like all these pipe stands and, and I don't know, there's some other miscellany stuff, the press and whatnot. I keep that in the welding trailer, so that'll go back in. And I think I'll set the sheet metal up against that wall. Got the press, the uh, hydraulic power pack, the pipe stands, and that black toolbox put back in the welding trailer and some other odds and ends. So, got that stuff out of the garage. Got my sheet metal sitting against that wall for now on the cart. Although I'm going to take them off the cart. At least it's over there for now, taking a little less room. I can actually walk around in here again. Still got some stuff I got to deal with. But the wood chipper is here. That's all that matters. Uh, let's see, I forgot to show you this. The pipe for the drum of the chipper is right there. And the two strips of uh, whatever you call it, high carbon steel sitting back behind it there. So that's there. Uh, the gas tank is here, hiding somewhere in the shop. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm really tempted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta show you this too. Super capacitors. I put these cheapo alligator clamps on it for right now, but a bank of super capacitors. This thing is awesome. 
But yeah, I finally got some super capacitors. Seems like only two years ago I said, if I could afford it, I would like to put some super capacitors on there instead of a battery. Those super capacitors I think are really neat. I set my 50 watt flexible solar panel out there. Wires are coming in. I have the positive connected to the starter cable. Let's go up to the starter. And then for ease of connection, I put the positive of the super capacitor bank onto there. And then the negative's laying over there. And the negative for the solar panel is here. And connect those two together. Then we'll take the negative of that and ground it to here and the engine should crank. Uh, I don't have any gas in the engine right now, so it shouldn't fire, but I don't know, there might be some gas left in the carburetor, you never know, but I just wanna show you that it cranks. And we'll put the, oh, all right, don't have this connected. All right, climbing, nice and slow. Super capacitors discharge really, really quick. You know, they self-discharge. Anyway, it won't take too long to charge this thing up. I might go turn that panel a little bit and see if I can get a little more direct sunlight on it. Five twenty. It's been going for a minute or so already, I guess. Could technically use it at that. All right, 524, so it took about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it all the way up to about 15 volts though. So five minutes to charge. How long does it take you to charge a lead acid battery? You know, like a car battery or something. A lot longer than five minutes, isn't it? That's good enough. Alright, disconnect the voltmeter first, then the solar panel. Yeah. Now, should be able to ground out the solar panel. Should be able to ground the uh, super capacitors. Those things you crank. I can find a good shiny spot to do this on. Heck yeah, cranking good. Oh, shoot. I should have hooked up the voltage. Can you read that? It's 10.9. stuck. Alright. Good enough. The starter is still stuck. Yep. Really that starter needs some work. I took the cover off the starter and that thing had a lot of rust and dirt built up in it. Put a little WD-40 in there, hopefully that won't make all the dust stick to it, I don't know. But working good now, it's been a nice. The uh, gear that slides up and down, you know, on those starters, it was stuck. So, she's nice and free now. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time with the super capacitors. Now I gotta quit. Under voltage. Oh, there it goes. Yep. That's working a lot better. I didn't have a rate. I didn't have a full charge on the super capacitors. Only had them up to 10 volts, so that's why I was real sluggish. Starter is definitely working a lot better now. So, okay, we'll quit there. Thanks for watching, y'all.